Uh, good day, dear friends. Uh, welcome to Alexander Chibanlianka personal blog. Uh, today I will, will show you settings of uh, WAF viscosity uh, controller which used on ships for automatic viscosity control of heavy fuel oil. So let's start. Uh, what install it inside of this controller? Inside of this controller install it uh, four modules. Uh, first module uh, it's uh, 420 milliamperes input module signal coming uh, from viscosity sensor 4 to 20 milliamperes. Second module uh, is uh, temperature input module uh, also signal coming from viscosity sensor uh, Third module, it's a relay output module. Uh, it's uh, giving signal uh, to open or close uh, uh, valve, uh, sending signal to actuator. And fourth module, it's uh, retranslation module. Uh, it's uh, th this module transferring signal also 4 to 20 milliamperes to alarm monitoring system. So you can see uh, parameters of this controller on your PC in engine control room. So uh, we see now uh, sensor break error because nothing connected. Let's reset this error. Uh, error. Okay. Uh, now we see the main screen. Uh, to enter the menu, you need to press this button and hold it. Okay, now we need to check access level. To use uh, to check access level, we use these buttons. Two, three, four, config level. To enter in config mode, you need to type password four. Password accepted. Now we in config mode. So what we can see here, here is the main menu. Here will be sub menu. Uh, Submenu also have several points. I will show you first main menu, then I will show you all settings for uh, each submenus, so you can apply on your controller when you will make adjustment. Let's start from main menu. To uh, see main menu, to switch between menus, you need to press this button. As you can see here, submenus. Menu. And we return back to main menu. Okay, now let's see access menu settings. To see the settings, you need to press this button. To change something, you need to use these two buttons. So now we return back. Okay, let's see next menu. This is menu in installation, I think. Here also present several submenus. To switch between these submenus, you need to use these two buttons. Let's start from first submenu, OPT. To check this uh, submenu, we need to press this button. Let's go. Uh, also, what I want to say, uh, if you feel, uh, if you see this fillet square. Uh, it means that option activated. If empty, that option not activated. Let's start. You see there is also one acti activated option.
One more timer. And user value here to options all subdivided. Okay, so we come back to start of this one submenu. Let's see another submenu in this menu point. To go back, we need to press this button. Now we can see another submenu. Dia, you see this the same, this submenu changed. Let's check settings for this submenu. Very lot of settings, no time to comment everything. And we uh, come back to first line. Let's see another submenu. Information. Passcodes. Company ID. Okay, let's see next submenu. I will try to do everything a little faster because it will take too lot of time to show everything slowly. Also, you can see you can change language here. Okay, next one. And we come back to first. This submenu I already show you. Go to the next menu point here. Press this button. Input. As you can see here no submenu, so only one menu point we will see now. Type of input 420 milliampers. Liner units milliamperes uh, higher point fifty centistocks lower point zero centistocks uh, range of current twenty milliamperes maximum four milliamperes minimum. I remind you this signal coming from uh, viscosity sensor. Uh, which usually install install it in purifier room. Okay, we go back to first line. Let's see next menu. Logic input output. As you can see here, also several sub menus. Let's go one by one. Not lot of points here. Let's see another sub menu. Also not lot of points and next sub menu. Ah, this one we already see. Go to next menu. Point this one. Relay also no sub menu. Only one. lot of parameters go to next menu uh, this menu uh, it's module IDs uh, this controller supports up to six modules uh, can be installed inside when you make your adjustment uh, you need to know uh, in what uh, slot install it your module and what kind of module you install as I say in the beginning of this video every module uh, um, do its own work. Uh, one module uh, receives signal from uh, viscosity sensor, one module uh, receives signal from temperature sensor, 
uh, one module uh, used like uh, relays output for actuator of uh, steam uh, heating valve for uh, viscosity control and one module used for retranslation of input signal input current for 20 milliamperes uh, uh, this module make retranslation of input signal to alarm monitoring system uh, so you can see on your PC station uh, on your SCADA system same data what, what you can see here on, on the screen this is important so in this unit now install it four modules this first module is dual relay module this is output module used for control open and close uh, steam valve for viscosity control on heater next module uh, not install it as you can see number three module it's analog input module for 20 milliamperes i think uh, for um, uh, for uh, temperature control uh, and module number four dc uh, retranslation module this is exactly what i say you for uh, alarm monitoring system for scada system signal retranslation no module no module number six so again dual relays one analog uh, input module for temperature sensor uh, and dc translator module for uh, alarm monitoring system for viscosity sensor uh, for 20 milliampere module install it uh, on main pcb uh, so we cannot see this module here but by this reason so we can see here only three modules Again, for output relays, for temperature, and for uh, retranslation to system. Go to next menu. Now, uh, settings for every module. As you can see, here's also sub menus. Uh, and uh, for each module, uh, here, settings. Let's see for module 1A. Relay type. Parameter value. And we come back to first line. Let's see next module 4A. Uh, here active only modules which install it inside. 4A module. DC retranslation module for uh, alarm monitoring system settings and we return to first line let's see next module third one 3A analog input also signal for 20 milliamperes for temperature sensor as I say earlier. High settings, low range. And we return to first line. That's all. No more models oh, sorry 1c 1a 4a 3a 1c 1a 4a 3a analog input also i don't remember did i show you this model or no let's see settings for this one This looks like for uh, viscosity control. Okay, and we come back to first line. Let's see next menu point alarm. Let's see next menu point. Next, 
also several types of submenus here. This is communication part. Usually it is not used. This is for mod bus communication. But anyway, I will show you the settings. Maybe on some ship you use this. Okay. What also point we have here? None. J. H. J. Okay, let's see J. Okay, let's go to next menu. L P. That's all. As you can see, very lot of settings. So, if you don't have these settings, it will it will be very difficult to adjust new controller. If company send you new controller without pre-installed settings. Also, PID parameters, very important setting point. Integral time, differential time. This is very important setting. And these settings we already check. Go to next menu point. Okay, next one timer. Next menu. Also several sub menus here. User value. Second value. Two parameters here. Go to next menu and we return to access menu of controller. Let's see all menu again main menu here okay if you have any questions uh, please ask me under this video uh, like this video sign on my channel i hope this information will be useful for you alexander chipanlianka was with you see you in next videos goodbye